Hello friends, family, and beauty pageant contestants. My name is Alea and today is Tunisian Crochet Tuesday where I talk about Tunisian Crochet on a Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about the Lantern Moon Tunisian Crochet hooks. Um, but before we get into that, let's do a couple housekeeping. If you're watching this video and you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. Also like this video, it definitely helps me out. And then also comment down below your questions, comments, or criticisms make sure you hit the notification bell so whenever I go live or upload a video you'll be the first one to find out I upload videos Tuesdays and Thursdays and I go live mostly on the weekends all right so since we got all of that out of the way let's get started into these crochet hooks so Tunisian crochet hooks so I have the lantern moon Tunisian crochet hooks I forgot exactly I put it like some are um, exactly what these are called on their website um, but this is a set of six Tunisian crochet hooks and this is what the case looks like isn't that gorgeous I absolutely love the color and I think this is all like mulberry silk absolutely gorgeous so let's open her up all right so here we go so in here you get a four millimeter a five millimeter a 5.5 millimeter a six millimeter a 6.5 millimeter and an eight millimeter hook now compared to other Tunisia crochet um sets it is significantly less hooks um it's missing like the two and the four 4.5 and the 3 and the 3.5 um, I find that unnecessary because I'm gonna be honest I don't work with anything less than a DK I'm gonna be completely honest <laughs> and when I use DK I normally go for the 4 I don't use anything smaller than a 4 millimeter hook anyway if I'm gonna be completely honest so I thought this was perfect for me I have all of my most used hooks and the quality of these hooks are just chef's kiss they're made from black ebony wood and they are polished to perfection i'm just gonna bring out the eight millimeter just so y'all can see and it is polished to perfection and everything is just really well crafted it has a beautiful um inline hook shape that is perfect for tunisian crochet and it's so smooth it's so nice and then on the um on the hook itself not only is it embossed like it's imprinted or embossed into the wood but it also has this beautiful gold um lettering and where you can clearly see the gauge of your uh hook as well as the size and it is lacquered over so you do not have to um worry about it ever rubbing off it also has a brass i believe this is brass brass ending which is gilded gold which i'm absolutely i i love the gold aesthetic <laughs> and so with all of that it just makes a very uh, pleasing to look at tunisian crochet hook set absolutely gorgeous now what does this come with besides your six hooks you do get two swivel um cords that are made out of steel um so let me look at the sizes because i do forget often what sizes these are i just call it long and longer <laughs> all right so this is 80 centimeters and you have to remember with tunisian crochet hooks the total length or the length that it says on your uh cord is the length of the cord plus the tunisian crochet hook that makes it the 80 centimeters i hope that makes sense but it comes with 80 centimeters and this one is 60 centimeters so it comes with two substantially long hooks that you can do pretty much almost anything with I mean, besides an actual afghan, um, but we'll get into that in a minute. So it comes with these two cords and they swivel. I think I mentioned that already, which is my favorite type of cord. And then in this little pouch, this didn't come with it. <laughs> Ew, is that lint? <laughs> um, but in this little pouch, you have um, your tightening tool which also is made out of beautiful wood and it has lantern moon on it and then you get two um, end caps that also screw into your cords so that's nice to have so that means you can work up work on potentially two projects at the same time with 
these stoppers, which is very nice. Which is two cords and the two stoppers, you can work on two projects at the same time. Which <laughs> is nice because I, that's what I often do. <laughs> so, um, that's pretty much what you get in here. Now, for some people, this is very limited selection of hooks. And I definitely like to make a set more personalized to me and my needs so i'm going to share with you the things that i added to my tunisian crochet hook set from lantern moon that um just made it that that better and more customized to my needs all right so i got um a uh, 10 mil 10 mil <laughs> oh my gosh 10 millimeter <laughs> tunisian crochet hook by lantern moon right now i got this off of amazon you can also get them single from etsy as well and this retailed me about 16 dollars just for the hook okay that's that's i was like oh, 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 oh. but it was worth it because i definitely use bigger sizes more often so for me it was definitely worth it and as well this one's very beautiful now i don't know if it's because it's in a set or if it's because it's alone, but it does have a different type of lacquer on it, in my opinion. Maybe this is the older version. Um, I don't know, but it just seems a lot more shinier compared to this one, which it has a nice lacquer on it. I don't know if y'all, maybe you can't tell in person, but the 10 millimeter seems a little bit more shinier um, than the eight. These feel more matte, but that's just something that I noticed. Um, it doesn't bother me, but and because it's still a great hook, I'm gonna be honest. Um, but that's just something you should know if you're buying them single. I think they may have a different, or be made different um, than if you bought them in a set. Um, which is the case for most crochet hooks for some reason. I know that happens with Susan Bates a lot, um, but yeah. Uh, the other thing that I purchased was two shorter cords right um so these are 40 centimeters so these are significantly shorter <laughs> than the ones that come in the kit which is it's fine this is what I, I wanted these because um like I was I realized when I was using the longer cords it was just too much cord so I wanted something a little bit shorter and that's what I got also, um, I got a set of cord connectors. This is what they look like. They're about $6 on Amazon. And what they're used for, and they come with a pack of two. And what they're used for, this is what they look like. Um, this is the other one. Right? So they come in a pack of two. And you pretty much put your cords together. Right. So if you need a specific length or you're doing an afghan and you want to just work with the cords that you have, like the two really long cords, you can get these cord connectors and make something even longer. So and you just twist it in and you can tighten it because it does have this, there you go, this little hole for you to tighten it. And there you go. You have a longer cord and it works very fine and you know it does not inhibit the swivel of the cords at all which i like um the other thing that i added is i bought another set of stoppers and i bought another tightening tool just in case i do keep the tightening tool up there so i don't if i ever lose this i know that i have one in my yarn room <laughs> so and then I do keep these also in my yarn room as well but I wanted to show you guys and the last thing I think y'all seen them <laughs> is my um I just these February fiber coat gave these to me when I bought some yarn from her so I just pinned them in here um as stitch markers and then I have the stitch markers that I made they they are also in here as well and I just bought these little cute scissors from Hobby Lobby to keep in here as well. They're very sharp, so I keep the little, <laughs> look, it's awesome, <laughs> poking out, but I keep the little sheaf on it so I don't poke myself. 
so if i put everything in here it's kind of uh packed oh yeah and i also keep like a darning needle or tapestry needle in here as well and i like to also put the tin in here um so i just kind of like scoot everything <laughs> this is really silly don't do this but i just scoot everything to the side like this so then I can fit my 10 millimeter hook in here. And then all of my lantern moon hooks are in one place, right? And all my supplies are one of little key pouch. I absolutely love this so much. And I would highly recommend these. They are on the pricier side. However, they're actually less expensive, I think, than the clover ones, depending on where you get them from. But they're so nice <laughs> and if you are somebody like me who doesn't use all of the sizes especially with crocheters i think we stay away from like the sport and dk a lot dk is the lowest that i'll go i'm gonna be completely honest um so i would highly recommend these if you want something really high quality and luxury to just elevate your tunisian crochet project pattern everything i absolutely love them and i feel so bougie <laughs> And I show them off every time I get. So yeah, um, I think that's it. That's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or what's complaints, <laughs> um, leave them down below in the comment section. If you like this video and the content that I gave you, make sure you leave a like. That would really help me out. Oh yeah, I'm also, I also, before we leave, before we go, <laughs> I also wanted to let you know that I am... Uh, I started a blog so if you're interested in everything that I don't talk about on YouTube or on TikTok I will be leaving my blog and my blog post for the because I will be doing a blog post on these I will leave it down below in the description so you guys can check that out I would love if you visited my blog and it's just another way that I like if I don't feel like making a video or if I don't make feel like making a TikTok about something most likely it's going to be on my blog which is so exciting i'm so happy that i started it i just feel at home there like it's like my little personal crochet diary and it's just so much fun but yeah that's gonna be it for today i hope you have a wonderful day and remember make something gorgeous bye guys